Good afternoon guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to another video and the BMW is back. So if you're new around here, this is my BMW E87 169 from 2009. Now I'd greatly appreciate if you could go down there and hit that subscribe button if you are new, but here's a real quick recap of the things we've done so far to the car. So I picked this car up about a month and a half ago now or so for around about £2,000. I then revealed it to you guys and gave you some sort of an idea of what I was thinking of doing with the car in the future. We then cracked on with removing the roof racks, mud guards, changing the indicators, and I even gave a go at removing this tow bar, but failed miserably, you could say. <laughs> but all of that TLC is definitely going to end today because we've got a couple of mods that are really going to stealth, you could say, the car out, which I am so looking forward to. So let's get back to my house and let's get cracking on installing these because this is going to look so good by the time we're done. So if we're going for a stealth look with the car, there's one thing that really kills it, which is chrome. And I can tell you now, this car, has got a lot of it. We've got a chrome there, in there, down there, on all four wheels, here for the badge, and lastly, for all I can find for the moment, is around the emblem. So if I wanna change this, there's either two things. With the grills, which we're gonna do now, because I've got some new ones, we can either wrap them, or like I just said, I've bought some new ones which are gonna install right now, like I also said, <laughs> let's go. So the easiest way that I've seen to remove the grills is to get a trim removal tool almost down behind here and just release the clips by almost prying it forward. So we're gonna give that a go, fingers crossed it works. And then the new one should just clip into place. Well guys, that was really really difficult just to be able to get this off but we've got the old grill off now the car looks rather weird you know without a grill in place but we're now going to replace this with the new one so let's go get it let's clip it in let's give it a good old look what the new one looks like So we're on with the new grill now and it is looking so much nicer than the old one. Only problem is I think I snapped a few clips so it's, uh, it's a bit loose. Um, that's fine because we will be getting a new bumper at some point because the old owner seemed to have maybe crashed it or scratched it or something and plus it's not a very nice looking bumper. So that is what the car's looking like right now. It looks pretty mint if you do ask me. Let's get the other one in, hope we don't snap any clips this time. So we just finished this one of those girls and they look so good guys. You ready? Three, two, one. Right then, here they are. That's what they look like. I am so happy with this install. I mean, it looks so much better than what it did before. Admittedly, yeah, it's not perfect, but I mean, I don't expect them to fall out, hopefully not anyway, but ah, oh, they look so good. I am so happy with that. And the car is now starting to look so much better, being that a lot of the chromey white stuff's going, it's all turning black. Just look at it now, how all the black's starting to flow ever so slightly compared to what it looked like when we picked it up. It is looking so much better now. The new indicators and the new grill. The car is looking so good. Anyway, we've got more mods today. So let's get on to the second one. So secondly today is actually a little cup holder that I would like to install into my car because this car annoyingly has got zero of them. Um, and my girlfriend especially is not a fan of that. Going to board this little piece here that clips into the center console. Um, or not clips in, it sticks onto it. 
and then you can just drop some cup holders in. We'll stick this on, we'll give it a go. Fingers crossed it works, but yeah, it looks like it can hold cups. This install seems like it's gonna be really, really easy. I'm just gonna peel off the little red bits on the back of the tape, and we're just gonna kind of line it up, stick it down. It should look something like this, I'm guessing. I don't know, we'll, we'll get it on and then we'll get it adjusted and um, yeah. Right, so the tape's off. Now let's just get this somewhat lined up. Yeah, about there I reckon. And then, let's push this down into place. Fingers crossed, this ends up looking all right. I really hope it does. Oh, ugh. Oh, that feels like it's really on there. That's that's rigid, that. I mean, to be fair, that looks pretty good. I mean, I have no cups to try it with. So we'll go out in a little bit and we'll grab like a Mackey's or something and we'll try that out. But I tell you what, for like a tenner, that's not too bad. That's really nicely on there. So that is this now installed. It's looking awesome. I'm really happy with that, actually. Let's crack on with the next thing. All right, then moving on to something more, a little bit more interesting on the outside of the car this time as well. The badge. In the last video, we said we were going to remove it. We're going to do that right now. Okay, so the main thing we're actually going to need to get this off because uh, I get heatedly bonded is heat. So we've got a heat gun. We're going to put on low heat. We're going to keep it moving so I don't burn the paint off. And then we're going to try and pry these off one at a time with my little trim removal tool. Do Let's go. Do you ever pick up on that phone? Stop pretending like I'm Well, I haven't done a perfect job because obviously there's still some adhesive needs to come off, which I can just clean up off camera and I will do. But we've got the badge off, and I mean, it just looks pretty cool now about a badge. <laughs> I quite like how that looks. Um, let's give you a little run around and show you what the car now looks like. We obviously have the new grills, the new indicators, no badge. Let's go. So then the car is looking, well, not exactly 10 10 just yet, but it's getting there. She's so dirty already. I literally cleaned her the other day. But. Birds are just choosing my car right now, they absolutely are loving it. I mean, it looks it looks better without a badge, but obviously we need to get rid of that because the adhesive doesn't look very nice. Um, there's some adhesive left as well from where the mud flaps were, it seems like they were glued on, which was a bit weird. But the car's looking so, so nice right now. Just needs a clean, really. So we're on our way to Mackey's right now, actually, so let me know what your typical McDonald's order is down in the comments below, I'm interested to hear it. That was probably the best launch I've had in this car. Hi, can I get one? Yeah, I've got an app order of WX52. Yeah, we'll go for this one after. Lovely, thank you. Okay. Food order ad. Well, not really, did it on the app, but you know. <laughs> Play a little bit of Pokemon Go whilst we wait, shall we? Oh, yeah, you just got me a new Pokemon. Up. Rimp Plup is what it's called. <laughs> Hiya. Thank you. Thank you. Well then, this is the real test of can the cup holders actually hold? I don't know, we'll find out. So the cup is definitely in the holder. Uh, is it holding it very well? Well, I can't tell you that for a fact, but it's definitely in there. We'll park up here. Perfect. Right then. How well is this cup holder actually working as a cup holder? <laughs> so all in all, it's not exactly too bad. I mean, there's definitely better options out there, but it holds the cup in there. I mean, I'm station rear from driving that mic. That might come out. The back one doesn't really fit. Something smaller enough to go in there. It holds, I guess. It's not perfect, but it does the job. Now, unfortunately, that is what we've got time for today, guys. I'm going to crack on with it at my McDonald's. You're going to crack on with subscribing to my channel just down below and watching all my other videos because you're absolute legends. I'll catch you next week on Sunday. Have a great week, guys. See you then. Peace out.